And just like that, we are back with another video. It's your boy Ju. I'm here with my 08 Nissan 350Z Nismo. And today we are actually going to be working on the rotors. You guys can see the rotors on this car are pretty crusty. And I have some replacements right here. These are... These are pre-owned. I got them secondhand. We have a friend that recently got into a wreck in his car, crashed his car, totally his fault. He crashed his car, so these rotors actually came off of his. Let me grab some gloves really quick. So this is what they look like. They are slotted, they are not drilled. They actually will match the rear of my car. I'll throw a picture or a video on screen to show you what that looks like, but I believe I have the same setup in the rear. They are slotted, they have a cool little pattern. I don't know what brand it is it says GT on there if you guys are familiar with that brand for these cars let me know leave a comment down below because I tried to do some research within like a five minute search I didn't really find any big information on it but um they are specific for the Brembo's this car does have that because it is a Nismo so this is a super easy install I don't have any pads yet I really 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 would like to change out these front pads you guys can't really tell right now because I semi clean this wheel but these pads whatever pads they are they produce so much brake dust and it's only the front because when I got this car again it had aftermarket rotors in the rear and as well as pads and the rear doesn't get any brake dust I know the fronts do more work and everything like that but I've had other Z's and I've gotten a lot of brake dust in both the front and the rear so yeah for this to only get a lot in the front and kind of tells me something's different in the back yeah I will be doing that next but for right now I'm gonna kind of clean these up a little bit scuff them up and uh, just kind of put them on there and just kind of see how it looks with this style in the front. I think it'll definitely transform the look. And this is a pretty, I would say inexpensive. It's still pretty pricey, but you know, for a lot of the things and go fast parts for this car, I would consider this a easier, you know, more affordable thing, especially to get a really good change of appearance, you know? So this is a really easy mod. Yeah, we're gonna dive right in. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop right in this video. So once you've got your car in the air, the next step is to obviously take off the wheel. And if you ask Julian, why is the whole car jacked up on this side? I'm actually doing some stuff in the rear that's kind of separate from this video, so that's why. And also, I like challenging myself. I have a white t-shirt on and I'm gonna see if I can not get it dirty. <laughs> Without further ado, let's go. Anyways, now that we have the wheel off, you guys can see this rotor has kind of like some hot spots all along here. Um, yeah, like I said, not really changing it out just because it's bad or anything. I just really am honestly doing this more so for the aesthetic and the performance benefits. It'll kind of cool the brakes down a little bit, whatever. So next step, we're just going to take the caliper off. There's two bolts. This will basically fall off. And once we get that off, we can slide this rotor off. He got my boy on the keys with it. <laughs> <laughs> hey yo, full set, we the best! No way. Guys, right, so I got the first one off and uh, yeah, this is how it looks. Pretty ugly <laughs> and pretty old too. I'm, I don't know how old these rotors are, so it is pretty good that I'm changing them. But yeah, this is like side by side comparison not too much different honestly just has like the slots in it and whatnot i don't know how old these are either but they definitely look like they have more life than these right here and we also have the car on the ground and i went ahead and did one side that way you guys can kind of see what it looks like so um i feel like you might not really see a full difference at least maybe just sitting here i don't know but it looks cool in there for sure and now it kind of looks uniform because of the rear now also has the slotted as well this one has like a different design it doesn't have as many slots yeah and that's actually probably how it's how it is just because it's a, a smaller diameter rotor but yeah it looks pretty good let me know what you guys think I'm gonna go ahead and knock out the other side that way I don't bore you guys anymore and this little job will be complete I'll show you what the car looks like outside just to see if you notice a difference guys so we have the old rotors right here and the car is pulled outside what do you guys think, man? Just a simple mod, man, can go a long way. Kind of brings out the wheels, the calipers a little bit. I don't know, gives it that like race car vibe. And then as I come to the back here, we already had these, as I mentioned earlier, but again, it just kind of ties everything in together. I think it looks pretty, uh, 
pretty uniform now. So, what do you guys think? I think it looks good. This pattern's pretty cool too. So, yeah. Let me know. Car's looking sick though. In this part of the video, we are gonna be doing a little bit of preventative maintenance, we'll say. So recently, in a couple videos ago where I installed the new clutch and flywheel setup on this car, I showed an intercooler pipe like coupler that was blown up. And it was because it was a cheaper coupler. I actually have one right here for reference. So as you guys can see, this is a two and a half to two and a half coupler here and in the middle it looks like it grenaded itself because it did and this is actually the second one so the first one happened when i got to my boy's house when we were doing the clutch i changed it out to this one and it happened again and it's because this is a cheaper style of uh just silicone a chinese very very cheap one i am actually going to be changing this out and the reason why i have the wheels turned is because the coupler is actually right here so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna jack the car up take off the old one or the new one I guess we'll say the one that I installed that also is another cheap one the third one by the way and we're gonna be installing it with a nice Mishimoto two and a half to two and a half so this one is a lot thicker quality let me get this thing out the package so you guys can see so right off of the bat you guys can notice the quality difference I'm sure uh, the one on the right side here, or right here in my hand, is a lot thicker, thicker material. Um, this one is definitely not going to pop like that. Also, it doesn't really have like an indentation where it could, whereas this one, you guys can see, it kind of has like that line right there, which is, it's really weird. I don't know why that's there, but it kind of makes it prone to popping like that. So we're going to be tossing that one and also throw away throw awaying the one that's on the car and installing this one so this should be a nice addition and then after that we shouldn't have any more intercooler piping issues and now that this beautiful machine is in the air if i get on the ground right here take you guys under you guys will see where i'm talking about so this little 90 right there, we're gonna go ahead and take that out with a 11 millimeter and we're gonna replace it with the new one and we should be good. This one is good again, but it is the cheaper style. So we're just gonna get this out of here. So we got our new coupler installed. Everything is good to go and tightened down. This one will be a really good addition and I don't think we'll have any, any issues anymore. So happy about that. Guys, it is absolutely gorgeous out here. I am downtown San Diego and we pulled up to this kind of little meet that's going on. You guys probably can't really see over there, but there's a few cars kind of lined up over here. You see my car and then there's some older cars. I think they said these are from the year 99 and below. It's supposed to be like a cool like I don't know just old school kind of meet with the mixture of like new school as well we're gonna see i i don't know if i'm early i mean it starts at eight i'm pretty much here at like 8 15 or so i thought it was gonna be a lot bigger than this per the post so hopefully it is because i made the drive but regardless we have a beautiful view and i love coming down here you guys don't know i am actually from san diego yeah i just i love being down in this city bro it's so sick so without further ado let's uh check out some cars and let's see what's up not gonna lie though i think i'm gonna start having to come down here for my thumbnails and uh everything like that this is a really really cool spot i actually really didn't even like know that this spot existed so this is sick bro but yeah super small turnout it's kind of unfortunate but i'm hoping that some other cars will show up and um, they're actually doing like a meet after this at their garage. So I'll probably go to that. I don't really have anything to do today, but yeah, let's check out some whips. Some of these cars, I have like no idea what they even are. But as you can see, this thing is old as heck. For sure older than me. <laughs> Alfa Romeo, would you look at that? So I'm starting to walk around this meet and uh, see this, I think it's a, he said 69 Camaro. You know, looks average, right? Looks normal. Get in the interior, you have some nice pieces in here. The steering wheel gauge cluster. This thing goes up to 200 miles per hour, which is insane. Little switch panel, switchboard panel in there. Super sick, roll bar, roll cage. 
And then you get up front, that's where it gets interesting. So I was talking to this guy and he actually threw a 1JZ in here. Uh, he said he left it mostly stock, stock turbo, stock ECU, but pretty cool because like it's something you definitely don't see, at least I've never really seen. So that's a really sick. And it's funny because he said it's open downpipe right now. So this thing is crazy loud. What do you guys think about this, man? Once this thing is painted and has like some wheels and you know, lowered a little more, I think this thing would be really, really cool. So shout out to owner, man. So it's actually perfect now. They cut off the music, which is absolutely good. And these wheels, my boy actually had, I don't know if you guys remember Avado's car, the 370, he had these wheels. And I really, really like these. These are actually the same wheels that I wanna get for my 370. I just think that they would go really well with like how the car looks, especially the color that he had. He had a bronze color. I'll try to see if I can throw it up on the screen real quick, but yeah, that is sick. Dang, this guy has the Nismo covers. Looks freaking awesome, bro. This interior looks really nice. A little R32 GTR. Looks kind of like a smoked headlight kind of action. Front mount intercooler. Bigger intercooler than factory looks like. Sick. And then over here you have an R33. Looks like, yeah, GTR. Okay. Or, I don't know. It might be, a, I don't know, dude. These, these things are kind of tricky. It says GT here, and then on the wing he has GTR, but it actually might be like a GTST. Yeah, or GTT, as you can see from the badge, but super tricky. These things can really, uh, really screw you up. But the 240 over here. I miss my 240, but I'm gonna be honest, guys. I don't think I'm gonna buy another S13 just because of A, people do not take care of them, B, the prices, and there's one more thing. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's it, but yeah, they're just way too, I just, they're overpriced, man. I should have kept mine, but is this a dash cover? Yeah, it is. Okay, I was going to say this dash is immaculate. But yeah, dash cover, stock S13 seats, little NSX, jeez, the dual caliper setup in the rear is fire, bro. Look at that, with the work wheels, that's sick. Supercharged? Okay. That is really cool. Damn. That is sick. This thing is really, really clean. I know this car is super, super valuable. My boy got the plastics down there. He said, take off your shoes. That is sick, man. Super cool. Love the hood, too. Looks really aggressive. My boy needs some Rust-Oleum on that lip, but thing looks really, really nice. Can't complain. Oh, here we go. Every time I see one of these, it makes me think about my 370. It looks like it's the same turbo though. The Borb Winner S369 SXE or something like that. It looks exactly similar to mine, which is kind of cool. Stock intake manifold. I don't know what. I don't know what manifold, turbo manifold that is, but four inch downpipe, okay. Got the radium catch can too, sick. Koyo radiator, I got a Koyo radiator too, my boy. TRD, interior is really nice. Dang, that's dope, bro. That's really cool. These rear ends look so freaking good. The only thing is like, I just like when the exhaust is kind of like turned. You see how like this one's like a little more just straight. It's not ugly or anything, but I prefer it to just be kind of at an angle, you know, as opposed to just being straight, but can't hate on it though, for sure. A lot of GTRs here for sure. Ooh, I like the steering wheel a lot actually. I really, really like that. That's cool, clean. Aftermarket little seat in here. And there's no shift knob. Very OEM plus, cool, cool. Get the front in a second. I like this black though, this black paint is nice. Number seven, racing. I've never heard of that brand, steering wheel. It's on a Link ECU, okay. Is that, no way. That's the same, that's the same uh, little digital display that I used to have right there in the center there. 
That's the same one, that's crazy. I've never seen anybody with that. That's pretty sick. Carbon hood, carbon mirrors, big front mount. It's clean. So I'm looking at this car, right? It's like a Fiat or something. And I'm like, where is your mirror, bro? <laughs> There's no mirror up here, nor is there a mirror right here. So I have no idea. But he does have one over there. I don't know if you guys can kind of see, but <laughs> where is your freaking mirror, bro? It's kind of interesting. Bro, tell me why this car is on a Link ECU. That's insane, bro. <laughs> Oh, Porsche 1600, that's crazy that this thing's on an aftermarket ECU like that. That is sick. Got the little foam mount, four speed. It's dope. These seats look hella comfortable though, I'm not gonna lie. It's pretty cool. Little Datsun truck. Got the little carbon fiber overlays. bed and then in here dang look at that this is a sr20 sir an sr20 yes sir this is sick got the little gas cab back there carbon fibre let's see what this interior looks like i like the pedals Looks really cool. I don't know what ECU he is on because he has like a kind of like a switchboard kind of right there. I don't know how well you guys will be able to see that, but little SR20 stock mount turbo. This thing is probably quick AF. Not gonna lie, but this thing is clean, man. This thing is pretty clean. I know it's really dark, so I don't know how well you guys will be able to see that, but it's not bad. I like it. Boy, oh boy. Here we go, man. 964. I need it. I need it. I love these seats, too. These are like the Recaro CS seats. I want to get these for really both the 350 and the 370, but so sick, man. So sick. I love this car. If this thing had a whale tail, it would be immaculate. But honestly, I think I'd drive it like this. What do you guys think? You like this car? Here you got a nice Mustang. This thing looks like it's been freshly restored. Looks really cool. Yeah. No way. Well, that's not supposed to be in there. Look at the fitment of this thing, bro. Insane. Damn, dry by wire. Got the welds up front. Little skinny minis. And you got the party in the back, bro. Look at that. It's freaking insane. That's sick, bro. This car is really clean. Really, really clean. I like that a lot. Stock seats. Damn, I know this thing gets out. Paint on this thing is immaculate, too. Sheesh. Look at the rear end. Bro, these are some big rain guards. Look at this. I've never seen a rain guard that big. That is huge. A little nice Momo steering wheel. I think these are stock Recaro seats too, if I'm not mistaken. It's pretty cool. Gotta hurry up because they're starting to play music again, which is kind of a kind of a shame. I hate going to car meets and uh, trying to film, playing music and whatnot. But I get it. They want a vibe for everybody. Pretty cool. That's sick. I just cannot get over these rain guards, bro. Let me know if you guys have seen something like that. That is insane. So again, I'm gonna try to speak up so that way this music does not get heard. But dog, look at this. The fitment is insane, bro. That is sick. That is super cool. And then like in the back, you can see they have this little dog back there. <laughs> that is funny, but yo, yeah, this fitment on this thing is crazy. Saucin' or what, bro? Right by the beach, I see you, dog. 
OAE 86, TE 37s, BMW E36. Got the BBSs on there. Thing is sick. Look at the confettis in here too, bro. Seats are iconic, man. And he has the bride on that side. How do you guys feel about like not having matching seats? Does it does it matter to you? Cause like for me, I don't know. Like I'd rather low-key have both of the same than to kind of have like a mismatch or to like just have one. That's just me personally. I I, I like like I want to be symmetrical. If that makes sense. I don't know. But gotta have matching seats. This thing's cool. Stock wheel, stock interior. This thing's nice though. I like the way it looks. Little 300 ZX action. The 2 plus 2 T top. Okay. Okay. Little T top. Dude, if you had a 240, you know that steering wheel. It's like the same steering wheel. I promise. That's crazy. Leather interior. Jeez, my boy luxury. <laughs> 300. There's some aftermarket exhaust tips too. Clang. Clang. That's folk time. My boy got the backup camera. You see it. You see that thing? Aftermarket tails. Little wide body kit on it. Looks like. Grip Royal steering wheel. I haven't seen one of those in a while. I'm not going to lie. It's been a minute since I've seen that type of steering wheel. Little Dragon Ball Z shift knob. Jeez. Not gonna lie, guys, this might be the best car here. Not gonna lie, bro. Look at that fast car. My boy got the rifle in there. <laughs> now, let me get away from this thing for you. Try to take me with him and whatnot. It's a little louder over here guys, so I apologize for that, but bro, look at the Millennium Jade on this. This BMW E36, E30 I mean, excuse me, not E36, E30. Wow, I like that. I've never seen this color on an E30 before, and it looks like really nice. Again, I don't know how well it's going to show, but you can like see that. Super cool. Looks good. Guys, tell me this is not perfect, bro. You got like the San Diego downtown in the background. You have all these freaking JDM legends and just like European cars and stuff. It's so sick. Drop a like for this, bro. This is awesome, bro. Awesome. Nice little Bel Air. Damn. This is what I mean when I say I want red interior. This is red interior. That's it. Dope. Guys, let me know down in the comments below what was your favorite car that you saw at this meet so far? Bro, look at this M4. It's freaking sick. I really wish you guys can see the inside, hopefully. But damn. Super cool. Davion, where you at? <laughs> where are you at, sir? Hey, my boy said 180. Where you at, bro? All right, guys, so I think on that note, I'm gonna end the video here. If you guys did enjoy, please drop a like. Subscribe to your boy, man. Let's, uh, let's get to uh, 4K, man, 4K. I'll see you guys in the next one, I'm out.